Yo, 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 what up, man? Chris, am I checking back in, man? Back with the vlog, man. Make sure that like button, that subscribe button, anyway, and I appreciate all the support, man. Back with a Van Chronicle. Your boy is in LA. You see the sunshine. Your boy is in LA. I got the window down. I got the vehicle off. I don't got to run the AC over and over again. You know what I'm saying? I love it out here, man. The weather is 80 degrees, sunny, and still with a breeze, man. Look, I got the window down. I ain't sweating. I ain't hot. Nothing. This is This is how it is. Out here in LA, man. Shout out to everybody in LA. Shout out to all our subscribers. Uh, want to talk about this caffeine situation? I know y'all know by now, caffeine is done, 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 done. But I do want to add a little perspective as to what's going on. I know people have done blogs. Vada Fly did a very good blog on it. I think some other bloggers talked about it as well. But I want to give a, uh, I want to talk talk a little bit about a little more about some other things that may have happened. Um, but I gotta talk about this. You know, the bricks have been in hot water. It's been a lot of talk. People saying ARP that left the bricks hanging, all kind of stuff. People saying that that Wing and Lawrence and all them kind of not doing what they need to do. They need to get better with the promotion. The bricks need to get better with the promotion. Payne left. Coach Coleon left and came back. But Payne left. Coach Coleon left. Caution is gone as well. 6'8 is also gone as well. Uh, La G is gone as well. Luck Dollars is gone as well. You know what I'm saying? So these are some of the more notable bricks, man. When I first was around the bricks and went to one of the events, they were the top bricks. Now it's just Jay Breed. Tato left too. She another female that left. So I think the bricks are trying to regroup. Regroup. You know what I'm saying? We kind of, we kind of, all the bloggers touched on it, kicked shit off or whatever. And the bricks have been a little bit under hot water. They got a big event coming up. They better show and prove. They better show it. They better win. They talk hella shit. They better win. But I'm watching this video. I just happened to turn this video on. Just on a humbug. Just on a humbug. And them niggas was saying caution got ghost writers. I, I guess when it rains, it pours. You know what I'm saying? Now that she ain't a brick no more, all the seekers want to come out. Check this shit out if you ain't checked it out. Hold on, hold on. Let's play a little bit. Hold on. I said, and peaches is fire, right? Right. Shout out to peaches. All right, cool. Now, a lot of people don't know who she is, but she's fire. Then you said caution. A lot of people, caution is more known than peaches and Jake Green. Caution got more losses, Cavs. She huh? loses her battles. Okay, hold up, bro. She just had the she's rookie of the year last year. Let's not get crazy. No, she's don't do all that now. She's not over there. Don't do that. Don't well, do she that. Was a rookie last year when they just had this last forty. Somewhere she never Caution been. wasn't even on the fucking list, cats. Caution, Caution wasn't even on the list. She made to the Chrome tournament. What are you talking about? Yeah, nigga, that was what two years ago. Last two year. years. Okay. Last all right, you make a to nobody or something. Where was Caution? Where was Caution? Uh, nigga, Gwitty said we packed her up, nigga, and they can't find her luggage. And she got dubbed from RBE, and we ain't seen her since. We just see her on the rampage talking about she's not a brick no more. Let's get that. Yeah. Oh, so she, she got, got like six battles book coming up. Who you talking about? Against who? She lost to Gwitty, and who's her next battle? I don't know. I don't know. Off the top of my head. She's battling she J-Love. She's battling, she battling J-Love. She's battling. Hold on. Packed by J Love. By J Love? Wait a minute, wait. Hold on, wait, wait. So now that caution. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is So now that that caution is not over there no more. Now she's whack all of a sudden. No, that's what we doing. Caution got ghost riders. Fuck you talking about. You talking about ghost riders. She got ghost riders. Tell her I said it. You niggas is doodle, nigga. Hey, wait, no, 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 you niggas better stop fucking horse playing with me. Bro. Wait a minute, you saying the reason why no people, what, Wait, I thought, wait, are you saying? Wait, wait, hold on, Quan, hold on, Quan, hold on, Quan. I'm going to hold on, Quan. Are you saying the reason why she was winning is because she had ghost riders from the RBE? Why and that she's is she's been losing is because she has ghost riders. Is what I'm telling you. The reason why she's been losing. What the fuck you talking about? You not listening? So you know for a fact that she got ghost riders. I know for a fact. 
And I know a few niggas. Who else? Who fuck you talking Ryan, about? Who else? Who else? Who else? Nigga, that's going on. Fuck you talking about? It won't be on your goddamn Instagram live, nigga. Fuck you. Get <laughs> Boy, Caps is like Don King. This nigga is like the master instigator. But this is Kwa. Kwa manages some of the bricks. Kwa even manages Gwitty. I don't know if y'all know that, but Kwa manages Gwitty. Um, he managed some of the bricks. And he's like Wings, kind of right-hand man. He's working with the bricks really, really heavy, all this kind of stuff. He's kind of plugged in over there. So when he goes out and says, caution got ghost riders, you know, in, in, in today's you know, thing you kind of got to prove shit or all this kind of stuff. You got to have the transcripts, the bars on the nigga phone. You got to have all that kind of stuff. But he know a lot of motherfuckers over there. And now that she's gone, they airing her out. And it's probably a few reasons why she left. I know her and Wing was, was cool. But, you know, they were thinking about doing uh, Trenches versus Brick card. And I heard that Caution is one of the people that messed that card up. It's some things she did behind the scenes I'm not going to get into right now, but it kind of messed the card up. Easy said to hell with the card, and basically what she did, I guess, fucked up the whole card and fucked up the momentum for that card and everybody that was supposed to be on the card. So then the card got dubbed because Easy was like, fuck it, we're not doing the trenches up no more, and next thing you know, they don't have a card. So it then moved to the Battle Academy card, but I think the trenches was kind of like the last straw. Whatever happened between... Uh, caution in the trenches and easy was the last straw. So I don't know. This is like this. This shit is turning into like a, a super soap opera on what's going on. But stay tuned, man. You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's gonna respond, and it, the the things will continue and continue. But uh, we got to get into the to this whole caffeine shit. So they put out a statement basically saying they haven't been profitable. They got all these different views and all these different subscriptions and all this kind of stuff they try to, ma to market it like they really doing big shit but come to find out they ain't really been making no money and i never knew how caffeine was making money anyway people was like oh they selling props they're doing this they're doing that now the good part of caffeine it gave us a lot of battles bro a lot of battles that were in small rooms that turned out to be good battles. I think a lot of the battles that was on caffeine, battles like John John and Ill Will, Geechee Gotti and Averb, Calico and Averb, uh, Geechee Gotti and Charlie Clips, Daylight and Tay Rock, Tay Rock and Mook. The list goes on, man. I feel like caffeine in that environment when it was COVID. Gave us a lot of battles where niggas was face to face, no crowd reaction, no nothing good. They gave us what? They gave us what a uh, math and goods. They gave us goods and Geechee. They gave us a lot of big battles. They also provided a lot of money that also provided some of the big battles. And um so that's one of the good things. Another thing is and much slack URL is a big reason as to why caffeine ain't here either. Like they're they 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 do have a part in that. However they gave a lot of money away, bro. They basically told battlers, and I know from talking to battlers personally, they was telling battlers, get the money while it's here. It won't be here forever. Get the money while it's here. Now, we hear a lot in spaces, especially in verse spaces, where he's like, oh, well, you are real. It's taking all the money. They're, we're the artists. They're not the artists, but they're getting a bigger slice of the pie. You are real was telling you, look, this is caffeine's money. Get it while it's here. It's not going to always be here. So they were pretty much giving people a lot of different things. Some of the stupidest shit that they did. Obviously, they hit me an angry fan up about doing a caffeine deal. But some of the people that they were giving caffeine deals to, it's just like, bro, you got media that was getting it. Like people like D.I. the Henny Man, stuff like that, Jay Black, shit like that. But they, they giving it to like 40 bars. They give it to official Casey J, Tay Rock, all these different people. Ge Geechee Gotti, DNA, Mike P, Bill Collector had one. It's a lot of people that had deal, even Anwar, people that had caffeine deals. And it's like they really didn't do anything to really earn a deal. They never had YouTube channels, but somehow they got a caffeine deal. They get a caffeine deal. They don't upgrade the camera. They don't upgrade the background. They don't upgrade the content. They don't give you anything new. Shout out to people like Geechee. Shout out to people like DNA. Uh, Sue Surf and Jazz had a pretty good show when they was out. Mike P was doing the streaming with the games. A couple people took advantage of it. But niggas like Tay Rock was basically 
doing a caffeine show on his bed, rolling a blunt with a fucking simple ass headboard in the background. He really didn't have shit going on. You know what I'm saying? It was almost like a nigga was doing a van chronicle on caffeine. They didn't have nothing behind him but some bullshit. And so they didn't really take advantage. Goods was another one that took advantage of it. They were given, bro, the height of what they were given, four grand a month, bro. Four grand a month. And if you a blogger like myself, you could put it out on caffeine first. Get your four grand. Take it and then put it on your YouTube channel and get paid twice. That's what niggas was doing. They was putting it out on caffeine and putting the same content out on their YouTube channel. So if they recap something on caffeine, they put the recap on the channel, get paid twice, and caffeine was cutting a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? At the top echelon, you probably get about four grand. Normal people probably get about two grand. Most people get about two racks. So that's a lot of bread for content. And you got to stop trying to buy people's loyalty. And I feel like that's one thing caffeine did. I don't feel bad for caffeine because I always feel like these niggas ride a wave, see some shit going on in battle rap and like, yo, I think we can kind of like bring people to the app and they don't really know much about the culture. They don't, they don't really care about the culture, everything. So you are real, got all this money, you know, there's evaluation, 130 million or whatever it was evaluation. And a lot of things happen, you know, Obviously, you had uh, you had the North. I don't want to chronicleize everything in this blog. This is just a van chronicle, but I bought a fly did a very good job of actually breaking everything down. But, you know, obviously, you had the twerk and North situation in the very beginning, and that was just a trickle-down effect, and they kind of kicked him out the whip in the beginning. When he sued, he did attach caffeine, a part of the lawsuit, and at the very end, the last thing that happened in North's lawsuit is caffeine had to open the books. And they had to basically open the books in order to, for Norbs to kind of figure out like, yo, what can we settle at? We need to see what how kind of money Caffeine is making. Caffeine did not want to open up their books because when you open up your books and you're competing with other streaming services like Twitch and other people, you're now letting them know the kind of money you make. And sometimes it's fake it till I make it. They clearly ain't making no money, but they don't want to make Twitch seem like they don't want to make no money. And they don't want to make future investors seem like they're not making no money. So when it came time for them to open up their books, URL settled. They probably put pressure on URL. They were still in a deal with URL and probably told them niggas, y'all niggas better settle. And URL settled. Now, as far as the settlement... I don't really know how much Norb's got. I, it's a lot of rumors going on that Caffeine might be paying part of it. All this kind of stuff. Rumors URL might sell part of the catalog, give it to Caffeine and kind of help pay for the battle. I don't see none of that stuff has happened so far. Norb's is still working a nine to five. So clearly he ain't so balling that he can't work, that he don't have to work no more. But I don't know the ramifications on that. I don't know how much he got and I don't know who footing the bill. But somebody footing the bill. So that's what's going on with that. Here's how you knew caffeine wasn't going to be around. You are real, bro. It's typical shit for them. Use you up and kick you to the rocks. That's what they do. You know what I'm saying? They find somebody that can throw... I mean, in business, to, to be fair, you just want to use other people's money, bro. That's all you want to do. You find a cigarello nigga, use his money. He come in green as hell, giving niggas t-shirts and shit. Wear this in a battle and I'll pay you a $1,000 and or something like that and niggas wear it in the battle they use them niggas up kick them to the side okay exclusive vodka we really don't drink this shit but bring your ass on in here anyway and we'll throw this little poster up at every battle and we'll use you up and when we're done with that we'll kick you to the side and that's all they do they find people to continue to support their battles it's smart it's smart it's the way businesses spend other people money that's what they always say use credit cards and get loans from banks and all this kind of always use other niggas money instead of using your actual money that's in your savings account that's what they try to tell you to do so url did that they sat down with caffeine and all the money caffeine gave them they spent it they tried to book Cass cassidy didn't do it we talk a lot about the cassie shit we don't even know what freeway got we don't know what the, the deposit was, nothing. Well, all we keep talking about is Cassie, Cassie, Cassie. Freeway is the other party. I'm pretty sure he got a deposit too. So they overpaid probably for a lot of loyalty because they was competing with RBE and competing with Chrome. So what the one way, especially RBE because they was here before Chrome, but when you're competing and people are doing max out ones and shit like that, you're going to step in and be like, oh, okay, Drake card coming up. Let's throw all this money at Lux and Geechee Gotti. Throw all this money at Rest in Peace Pat Stay and all this kind of stuff. 
they was basically overpaying to for, for people to want to battle on URL because that was where the money was at. They increased everybody's value and then it, and then it was too hard to bring their value down. So the females were getting like a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars if you were a top girl on Queen of the Ring. Most people was battling for free or battling for five hundred dollars in a hotel. You go to you go to URL in the middle of the, of the caffeine era. People getting ten thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars to battle, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten thousand dollars to battle. Now you can't book them for that price no more. You can't bring these people back over here to Queen of the Ring and pay them the kind of money you was paying. So basically, they didn't over. They kind of raised the market value of everybody, and then it became really, really hard for people to. When that shit is gone, people don't want to realize it's gone. They're like, oh, well, I was just getting forty to battle. Now you're trying to pay me fifteen. That stuff, that's that's what's happening now. You are really bringing the prices down, but caffeine raised the prices. So in fairness to URL, they gave away the money. They gave it away. So we all we hear a lot of talking about, oh man, URL just took, 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 took. Uh, they take from battlers. They don't want to pay battlers. URL was paying niggas. $40,000 a battle and they weren't having good battles. All them battles on caffeine were not good. Some of them battles weren't good at all and niggas were still getting hella bread. Some of them female battles were not good. They were still doing kings and queens and getting eight, nine, ten thousand dollars $10,000 a battle. And they were not like on the top echelon of the jazzes and everything giving you great performances. Some of these people bullshitting. Some of these people were on cards like kings and queens and all these different cards and they were, they were not really worth it at the end of the day but url was like shoot we got to use up the money somehow we need to get rid of this money they're gonna ask us how much you know him is we're gonna tell them it's a quarter of a million dollars and they're gonna cut a check now what well, one of the mistakes url did make is they abused the plug just because someone gives you fifty thousand dollars for a Gucci Gotti battle don't mean you got to use it all you could negotiate and tell them all you got is 30 and you could use the 20000 for a different situation, a different project, a different battle. They did different stuff. They did Ultimate Madness tournaments. They gave away a lot of money and $100,000 here, $50,000 here, and money to, money to uh, Holmesy the God and Fonz and all these kind of people. So they did things, but they abused their plug. They weren't making no money. You got to know they're not. Caffeine isn't making no money. But URL didn't care. As long as y'all really cut the check, we're going to stay loyal to the ballers. We're going to pay the ballers. We're going to try to keep the ballers over here. We're going to give them the most amount of money we can give them within reason. We're going to book, 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 book. And then when the money run out, we'll move on to an, another sucker that's willing to just give up their bread for whatever. Harry, all these other different people, you know, investors, niggas like the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got $20,000 on whoever win this battle. I got $5,000 if you can freestyle right now. The mayor came in being a trick. He came in being a trick, bro. So, these are the kind of things. So, that's where URL may, may could have prolonged the caffeine era if they had managed the money a little bit better instead of like, yo, we don't really give a fuck about caffeine, honestly. We're just going to use up their money. And if they make money, cool. And if they don't, it is what it is. We're going to continue to grow our profile. And URL could have handled that differently. But I don't think URL ever liked caffeine, bro. And here is why. Caffeine is too... <coughs> caffeine is too fucking controlling, bro. When you are a boss and you are in control, the last thing you want to do is have niggas telling you what to do. See, when URL was dealing with exclusive vodka and cigarellos and Harry, they was doing what the fuck they wanted to do. They get with caffeine, next thing you know, they can't go outside because of COVID. Oh, caffeine isn't going to do an event. <coughs> All right, LA. They got them LA, LA air coming in. They, they can't go outside due to COVID. Everybody's starting to open up. John John opens up with the Ace Amin battle. Niggas are back outside. ARP does max out one. Niggas is back outside. URL is still fucking doing events. COVID. They ain't cleared it yet. Uh, as far as caffeine. Niggas still doing like surfing Lux in a, in a small room. URL like, yo, we got to get back to the big stages. They were under a lot of control with caffeine being owned by Fox. Having all these stipulations. Doing, you know, all this... Uh, COVID testing and everything, they literally would not let Smack drink liquor on the set, bro. People was telling me, 
their caffeine was so strict they basically you would go to caffeine and they would have some tape on the floor of this is where smack stands when he's hosting tape here this is where like entourages and people stand they literally was directing niggas and telling you stand here lights camera action five four three two one he never could hold a cup of henny and talk his shit like he could when he when he was at other events and stuff like that the summer madness twos and all this kind of stuff when he was coming out with the strippers and all that he, that wasn't a situation he could do they took the liquor out of murder mook's hand when mook tried to come into the face off all this kind of stuff they had events like Gishi Gotti and um and goods remember they had niggas all the way across the street you could see them in the background but they couldn't be close because of covid they shut an event down remember i think they they something was going on they thought it was one battle going on or something the lady came on stop 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 and just completely shut the stream just died like that caffeine had a lot of control there was a fight backstage of the first cortez and surf battle next thing you know they shut the whole event down they had a lot of power and when you didn't build up 10 years in a game, the last thing you want to do is be giving your power to some white company that don't even understand battle rap. But you're doing it for their money. So you take their money, but they're also a little too controlling. So I'm not surprised you RL got out of business with caffeine or basically used them up because I don't ever think they liked them anyway in order to be in partnership with them because they weren't silent partners. See, if you silent, if you giving me money and just keeping your ideas on a text message and you shutting the fuck up and I'm running shit, I'm cool. If you want to be on the forefront, you like they literally caffeine literally could shut down a production over over anything Smack wanted to do. And when that's the case, it's too much power. It's too much power. And so that's how I know URL was itching to get out of that caffeine deal, bro. They knew that the, the battle rap pay was too high. So they knew they had to keep that money rolling because niggas was wanting forty and fifty thousand dollars, and they probably had a lot of big battles and competition through RBE kept them seeking more and more money. However, they did not like working with them niggas because them niggas was way too controlling, way too controlling, bro. Niggas wanna niggas wanna offer you shit and control it, but I guess if you give them money, you can control stuff. But it's like that. I got a whole trucking business. You call me right now and say it, they, they. I'm in LA right now. I got to run going to North Carolina. Okay, I don't got to be there till the first part of next week. I got to be there Monday afternoon. I have to deliver this. I got it earlier today. That's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I got a lot of time to get to North Carolina. But you know what they try to do? They give you the run, pay you a decent amount of money for it, and then want to tell you how to drive. And then they want to tell you how to drive. So when you leave it, so you know this might be traffic. So you know, are, are you you know are 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 you uh preparing for rest? Are you preparing for gas? Uh, you know when when are you gonna leave? When you tell them a time you gonna leave, like yo, I think I'm thinking I might leave like Friday afternoon or whatever. I might chill in L.A. a little bit longer. Them niggas will still text you. You still in L.A.? You still staying? How how much? Lo Bro, let me motherfucking drive. You can't give me the run and try to drive. Let me drive. Why does that bother me? Cause I'm a boss. This is my motherfucking van. Let me drive it. You are responsible for if I do not get the package there. If I don't get the package there, then you can bitch. As far as how I go, if I want to go to fucking Kansas and then cut down to North Carolina, if I want to go to New Mexico and cut up, if I want to go to Houston and Laredo and then cut up, whatever route I want to go as I'm going across the country does not matter as long as I'm there by the delivery time. I might want to go see my cousin. I might want to stop by my aunt house over here. Old military buddy over here. You know what I'm saying? Little little, little broad over here. Might want to do this. I might want to go shopping. Yeah, I might want to do whatever it is along this trip. These niggas, <laughs> these niggas be tracking you sometimes. Like yo, they be tracking the freight. That's what they, they be having a track on the freight. Oh, it's, it's, it sees that you're. Are you sitting or are you driving? I'm like, bro, get off my nutsack, bro. Let me drive. That's the one bad thing about driving. They be on that freight. They be tracking that shit. Man, freight right? You see that freight right? They probably got a tracker on it. So they ain't bothering me right now. They probably got a tracker somewhere attached to that freight to make sure that that shit ain't disappearing. And when you URL, you don't want to deal with that, bro. You don't want to deal with that. All you want to do is show up to events, wear nice jewelry, wear Dior hats, and fuck bad bitches. That's all you want to do. And have and hopefully they have some good battles. Like you do not want to be what I can't bring the hand in. I can't have a little sip of hand. Are you controlling the face-offs? You controlling everything. 
You're controlling everything, bro. So that's what's going on with caffeine. They are done, done. I kind of thought they might still be staying in the business, though. I kind of thought they might be trying to throw niggas deal. They might try to move to RBE, Remy, throw them a deal. I don't know. Kayshawn keep talking about this network shit. They might try to throw some balance, some deal. But URL probably has a, a no com, non-compete clause that yo, if you're not, if we're not in business anymore with battle rap, you can't be in business in battle rap for five years or some shit. They probably got some compete clause because if they didn't, Caffeine could just meet all the battlers and then cut URL out and just do their own events because they got all the money. So once you get everybody's phone number, you can call Twerk and Calico on your own. You don't even need URL no more. So URL would be smart to do a non-compete clause so that even if we decide that we don't want to do business with you, you can no, not do business in battle rap. And what they, that statement say, they are out of the battle rap business. So that's just my thoughts, man. Chris, I'm biased. Holla at your boy.